Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution Disaster Support. Today we are going to see about uh, five important chat GPT prompt for research paper writing. And here you can see that that important uh, chat GPT prompt for writing the research paper. So the first one is the provide outline of the research paper writing on research paper title on solar pv based ev charging with v2g and g2v mode so here right so here you can provide your research paper that means your uh, research topic okay so we are doing any research in some area right so you can provide that uh, uh, detail in the double quote right and then you can use this prompt and then you can uh, paste it in the chat gpt chat area right so here you can paste it here and then you can type here right so here you can see that so it will be provide the outline for the research paper writing okay so here it will be provide that the detail of introduction so what are the detail we can provide uh, in introduction part right for that research paper okay here you, you will see that right and then here you can see the second uh, chapter nothing but literature review right so what are the details we can provide in the literature review right and third uh, chapter or section nothing but methodology so what, the, uh, what are the metal, methodology can be included in, the, in, in that uh, section 3 right and fourth one is result and discussion so that is uh, depends upon your uh, results that means simulation results and audio results so finally uh, in uh, fifth chapter so conclusion part so what are the detail we can provide in the conclusion part and uh, the sixth uh, sixth one is reference and fifth one is appendix and then so these are the outline uh, they provided for the particular uh, research paper and topic right so we can provide that uh, here right your research paper a uh, title or research uh, topic right so it will provide the uh, detail about the outline of that research paper okay so this is the first prompt uh, can be used in that chat gpt for getting the outline of your research paper so next one is second uh, second uh, prompt right so here the first prompt uh, we are getting the outline so next time go to uh, uh, using this prompt that's the uh, please so here you can change please uh, expand the introduction part of the our outline with the 500 watts okay so here you can see that uh, so it will provide introduction uh, section in the outline right so i am going to expand that introduction section by providing some prompt in the chat gpt so here i am going to provide that prompt and enter then you can see here right so it will be ex expand that uh, introduction part right according with your uh, outline of uh, that particular research uh, paper title okay so here you can see that so it will be provide the detail about the introduction of that to solar pv powered ev charging with the v2g and g2v mode right uh, for that 500 watts okay so when we are going to provide this kind of prompt right so it will provide the introduction and detail okay uh, relevant to that your uh, uh, research paper title research topic okay so so it will provide some details so we can use this detail for expand and that means further you can add some detail in this introduction part to uh, expand the uh, content okay so this is second prompt uh, can be used in the chat gpt for expand that uh, uh, introduction part of your uh, research paper okay and research topic so third one is uh, summarize the following article right so here you can see that um, the chapter uh, 2 is uh, literature review right so for literature review you have to refer uh, different paper and then in, from different paper you have to find out the uh, pros and cons of the, the, the different research paper okay so for that we need to summarize the different uh, uh, articles okay that been already published article so here I'm going to type uh, some detail in Google Scholar. So here I'm going to Google Scholar, and then here I'm going to type uh, 
ev powered ev charging okay okay so here i'm going to type this one so and then i'm going to take uh, 2022 paper so here you can see that so it have some paper right so here i'm going to click this one and i'm going to open this uh, file and then i'm going to copy this a detail so i'm going to copy this detail from up to introduction part okay uh, so up to this okay so i'm going to copy this one and then so before copying this one i'm going to copy this uh, prompt right summarize the following article with the pros and cons okay so i'm going to copy this one and then here i'm going to paste so and then I'm going to copy that uh, detail here. So I'm going to copy the detail. So up to uh, section one, right? And then I'm going to paste it here. Okay. And then I'm going to enter. Then uh, it won't be summarized that uh, detail of that article. Okay. For writing literature review. Okay. So you can take this uh, detail and then you can go through the detail of that summary of the paper. So here you can see that it will provide. Uh, pros and uh, pros and cons of that particular paper right so here you can get that uh, summary session of that particular article and then you will get the pros and cons so we can use this detail for your uh, writing research gap okay uh, from this article right okay so you can uh, go with the different article like and you can use this prompt right uh, summarize the following article with the pros and cons and then you will get that uh, a detail of that particular articles okay so you can use that uh, and detail for your literature okay so next prompt is uh, summarize the table with the favor of right for example uh, this will be comes under result and discussion area of your outline so here you can see that so an outline uh, the chapter uh, 4 is result and discussion right so after you implementing that uh, your concept in simulation hardware with a different method right so we have table right so so we need to summarize the table or you need to uh, provide the table uh, results with your in favor of your proposed method okay so for that we can use this kind of prompt right summarize the table in favor of okay so for example i'm going to open this uh, table right so here we have uh, a comparison of uh, different MBPT method right with the uh, comparison with the uh, different times like peak power uh, settling time settling settling time and then uh, maximum power point ratio and then efficiency okay so here we have different method PO incremental conductance fussy and fees neural network okay so we need to summarize this uh, table in favor for example you consider the neural network method is your proposed method okay so in favor of that neural network we need to summarize this results right of the table right so you can use this uh, prompt in the uh, chat gpt so just to copy that prompt and go to chat gpt and paste here so here so here you can provide that method proposed method neural network and then you can copy this table okay copy this table and then paste in paste it in the chat gpt and enter so now you can see that right chat gpt right will provide the detail right so here it will provide the detail of that uh, uh, that mean uh, comparison of uh, that uh, table right in favor of your uh, proposed method right so you can ask uh, that when uh, expand expand this go an analysis of the table with the one fifty words. Okay. So I'm providing this uh, that when you want to 150 words uh, paragraph right so you can provide this kind of a uh, prompt okay along with that uh, the previous prompt right you will get the the detailed ex explanation about that uh, table okay 
so you can you can use this some uh, summary of the table for your uh, result in the discussion area of the research paper writing okay so this is a fourth prompt used to for uh, uh, writing research paper by using chat gpt so next prompt right for example you are writing research paper so you want to draw some flow chart right the basic flow chart of the previous method right or conventional method right so you can use a chat gpt along with overleaf okay so you can create the code uh, from the uh, chat gpt latex code and then you can copy that latex code to the overleaf okay then in overleaf will be generated the flow chart based upon the code generated from the chat gpt okay so here you can see that already here this table is comparing the uh, different methods so i'm going to use po mppt method okay so here i'm going to copy this prompt right so i'm going to copy this from right latex code uh, for drawing flow chart for the so i am going to copy this one and paste it here and here i am going to provide p and o mbpt okay so here you can see that after entering this okay so here that chat gpt will be uh, creating the latex code okay for that particular flow chart so after completing uh, after uh, generating of this code right you can copy this latex code and uh, paste it in the overleaf for generating the flow chart right so here i am giving examples only so you can create prompt accordingly that mean you have to provide the detail prompt <coughs> then you will get the uh, correct answer from the chat gpt okay so next we go for overleaf so this overleaf online latex editor so just to go to uh, here and then so just to go to login so login with the google okay so here i'm going to login with the google and then here you have to click new project and click plan project and then here i'm going to type abpt <coughs> and create so here you will see that it will be create the window so this is a, a code you, here you, you have to paste that latest code from the chat gpt so here i'm going to go to chat gpt so here i'm going to copy this code and then i'm going to paste here so after pasting this code right just go to click recompile so it will compile that code and then it will be create the flow chart so here you can see that so this is a flow chart uh, generated from the chat gpt okay so this uh, one second please so here you can see that so the flow chart for the pn to mbpt that created from the chat gpt so here uh, it, it begin with the start initially the p and v read p and v and then comparing p with the previous so based upon comparison you have to increase the uh, v by del v or decrease the v by del v and then store the value of p and v right so it will be taking process okay so it will provide a simple flow chart right so you have to uh, provide that prompt exactly then uh, according with your flow chart requirement so you will get the uh, flow chart from the uh, overleaf okay so you can combine that chat gpt prompt and for generating the text code and you can copy that code into overleaf and then you can get the flow chart okay so these are the most important uh, flow chart right uh, for research paper writing okay so you can use uh, this uh, chart gpt prompt for writing your research paper so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe your channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye